Play, 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 and stop right there. When that puck, spin our ass, get in front of this guy with body positioning, cut off and beat him to the inside. I think we all feel really good about what we accomplished through 10 games. We got good results on the road. Every, every metric, every metric you want to look at, we went down from what we did in the previous five games. But this is an important week for us, for our mindset. Not just to be comfortable with where we're at and what we've done. We feel good about it, but we have to keep pushing to get better. Every other team will get better. We want to make sure that we've done everything that's going to allow us to play with confidence. And we know who we are. We go out and we execute. At 37, you could have walked away, you could have gone somewhere else, you could have called it a pretty damn good career, if I do say so myself. What made you want to go back to the Toronto Maple Leafs for another year? I really believe in kind of what the team's doing, the direction, and to be honest, even after being here just a year, I'm pretty invested in it. He's a big part of this team in the locker room and on the ice. He does a lot for everyone. He's a guy you can always rely on to talk to and ask questions about, and he'll always give you a straight answer and help you out when you need it. We both share a pretty big passion about our sticks, so um, I think naturally we pretty much hit it off. It's not too The bad. shaft on this one is good. Little ribs on it. But look at the curves, you made three different curves. I'm gonna try this one today. I'm gonna take one off. This one doesn't look as square actually when you look down at it though. Yeah. I think when I look back, you know, I really appreciate the guys that took interest in me and wanted to help me. So I think uh, anytime you can help ease a guy's transition, whether it's a guy coming from Europe or just a younger guy trying to find his way, and, and sometimes it can be confusing to why you're playing good or why you're not playing good. So that's where you lean on your experience and, and just try to communicate with guys. I want to make sure that I'm helping guys out and try to be aware of uh, what's going on in the locker room. For me, it's pretty cool, um, you know, to play with a guy like Spets to say that you know he assisted on my first goal, a guy that's played for that long and of that caliber. first game ever. He was on my wing as well. I got him to sign a stick for me. Just the whole thing was pretty exciting. The work that he's put in all through the offseason to get himself ready to play and to push others to be ready and help our younger guys. At this stage in his career, to see the dedication and the passion that he has for the game uh, day in and day out, it's just incredible. He can't take a day off the ice. Like when we have days off, he still goes in there and he skates, prepares sticks, Prepares his gear, he'll do whatever, he just loves being at the rink. successful trip out west and some well-deserved rest get used to this Leafs versus Canucks first of three tonight Saturday and Monday in this quirky NHL season it'll be about six weeks before we get another break like we just had four days two days off all that it's gonna be about six weeks 20 games it's gonna come out again we gotta make sure we stay in our process and stay focused matthew's working it on the left wing gets around the defense he did a goal he scores austin matthews cut around the defense and finds the five hole on thatcher Demko and the Leafs quickly are out in front, one to nothing. But as we move forward here now to the next phase of the season, it's where everything has to really start coming together. Situational awareness. What's happening in the score? What's happening in the game? Where's the puck? Where am I at on my ship? Miley, far side, Spezza winding and shooting. He scores! From the top of the circle, Jason Spezza hammers home the Leafs. Power play goal, and they lead it two to one. When you take a break like we had, and you reflect, and regroup as a team, you practice. You're expecting to see progress, and I was happy that the guys came out and executed here today. Jason Spezza snaps it over the shoulder and into the roof of the net for a four.
4-2 Toronto lead. He's an easy guy to find, so it's nice playing with him. Obviously, he's got the shot, so and he showed it tonight. So it's uh, it's always a pleasure playing with him. Get it out in center. Here's uh, Spencer in over the line, trying to go for the hat. He scores! Jason Spencer cuts across the goal crease and scores the first hat trick in a Leaf uniform. That was fun to watch tonight. That was uh, vintage Jason Spezza, and I mean, he put on a show, and uh, I mean, he's uh, he deserves it. At his age, and where we're at in the season. He skates on one of our skill development days this week. Nobody would have blamed him for taking the off day, but he comes in and he works with the skills coaches and some of the guys were giving it to him a little bit and then thought that the hat trick goal looked a lot like some of the drills he was doing there with our player development staff here this week. It's vintage Spez right there. Um, some of those shots and goals and moves he's making, it's vintage. So I think uh, anyone is happy for that guy, whatever he does well. And it's a big game for him tonight. It's a, it's a big win for our team as well for the start of the three games here against this team, and you know, something that everyone can feel good about. And the Toronto Maple Leafs skate to a decisive 7-3 victory over the Vancouver Canucks. I love the game. The game's been good to me. Um, I think uh, I'm still chasing a cup, and that's what keeps me driving. But just coming to the rink and being part of a team, I don't think you can ever replicate uh, the bond you have with teammates over the years. And there's ups and downs and kind of trials and tribulations, but you all always have each other's back, and you know, that's pretty special stuff. You don't get that unless you're playing. So for me, I try to stay motivated and keep myself relevant and make sure that I can help the team out so I can keep playing.